Hello and welcome back to another surf guide video. This time I will explain a little bit about surfing in Sri Lanka, especially in the southwest coast. Sri Lanka is quite the same like Bali, you can surf all year around. The island has two seasons, dry and wet season, and you have to follow the dry season for the surf. From November on till end of April, the southwest coast is working in the dry season. And then the season change and from May till November, Arugan Bay, the east coast works. Sri Lanka is the closest tropic surf destination to Europe, especially in the winter time when you only want to surf in a board short or a bikini and want to have easy fun waves. In the video I will try to explain a little bit about the main surf spots. All in all, Sri Lanka is perfect for beginner, intermediate and also high level surfing. Once you fly to Sri Lanka, the main international airport is in Colombo, which is a 3 hour drive from the southwest coast. An average taxi costs from airport Colombo to Veligama between 7 and 10,000 rupees. I always look for surfers when I am arriving and talk with them and try to share the taxi because it's cheaper, it's more environmental friendly and that's the way to go. Kabarana Beach is one of the most famous waves in this area. The beach has two sides. One side is the beach break where you can surf on the sand. And the other side is the point break which is an A-frame wave. It handles all tide and all size basically. The left-hander is a little bit more quality, but you can also get good rides. Even the point break is covered mostly with sand, so you don't really have to worry about the coral reef here. It's a quite crowded wave, so it's better wake up early or go in the afternoon. Just a little bit to the north from Kabalana you can find South Beach. This is a very intermediate and longboard friendly wave. South from Kabalana the next spot is Styx. Styx has a very easy pedal out in the channel. Quite fun A-frame wave with 2-3 turns option. Mostly you're gonna find shortboarders and some longboarders here too. Marshmallow is a very easy, soft and bit fat wave. Normally surf schools and longboarders are surfing here. It has sand bottom and it's a very easy pedal out from the channel. Sion is quite easy to find. It's between Ahangama and Midigama, next to a small island. The wave itself can offer you a lot. It works with all swell direction. Even if it comes from the south, the right-hander works. If it comes from the southwest, the A-frame works in the middle. Best of course to go in low tide when the wave is more hollow. In my eyes, Midigama is one of the best surf destinations here in the southwest because the village is small, you find all kinds of restaurants and surf shops around, and you can still surf five, six different surf spots around in like almost walking distance. From the beginner level to the intermediate to even some barreling waves you find all in Midigama. One of the better quality waves is Rams. The wave itself can handle maximum 4 feet. If it's bigger, it's just crumbling and doesn't really break. It's a short wave but it's a quite fun one and you can pedal out in the channel dry hair. It's also really good just to have an opposite side of the road Mama's restaurant where you can always get your coconut pancake after the surf. If you don't want to rent a scooter, you can always hire a tuk-tuk driver which is 
quite cheap. If you are heading to the south, the next surf village is Valigama. Valigama has some point breaks, but mainly it's famous for their beach breaks, for intermediates and beginners, and for longboarders. Most of the beginners surf in Valigama because it has a protected harbor, always smaller than the other spots around in Midigama. Heading to the south, the next surf village is Mirissa. Mirissa is very famous for their spa and relaxation yoga centers. But it's also very famous for their right-hander point break in the corner. It works the best with medium-sized waves, like three to four feet maximum. The pedal out is super easy. Basically, you can pedal out with dry hair here. The bottom is coral reef, so be careful, especially with the sea urgence on the inside. One of my favorite places is Madiha. Madiha is between Merissa and Matara. It has two waves, a quite fast, even sometimes barreling left-hander with like two, three turns in it. The bottom is Coral Reef with sea urgence, so be careful here as well. On the other side of the channel is the right-hander wave. The right-hander here is a little bit more fat, but it's still super nice to practice your cutbacks and turns. Yeah, has two spots. One is the famous left point break, which is a very loved wave for longboarders. And in the middle you have some beach breaks for beginners and intermediates. When it gets a little bit more swell, it's also super fun for shortboard. The bottom is Coral Reef and it has some serious sea urgent population, so be careful if you surf here. In my eyes, Sri Lanka is still one of the best surf destinations in the winter for intermediate surfers or longboarders. I would highly recommend the time before Christmas in December or March, April, which is already the low season, which means the Indian Ocean start to produce more winter swell, which is more constantly surfed in Sri Lanka and also less people. I will be also in Sri Lanka this winter, so hit me up if you want to get some photos or videos or just hit up some local photographers or filmmakers. There are a couple of really good ones out there already. Thanks for watching the video and please subscribe and thanks to all my Patreons who are still supporting these short movies.